Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, for this news story, it's um, fake news on Facebook and it's kind of funny because people saying, oh, this is a huge problem during the election. Uh, that's why, you know, Hillary Clinton didn't, you know, um, win. Well, one of the reasons and, and so on. But uh, problem with fake news stories, uh, scams and other things have been happening on Facebook way before the election and even after. And just to give you an example, uh, I've got one that I uh, happened actually happened to me about 20 minutes ago. We're going to take a look at that. And uh, I actually clicked on a uh, Colin Kopernicki story. And uh, this popped up. Uh, it's telling me I'm running Microsoft Windows, which is, um, I, you know, I'm running uh, Mac. So, you know, this is actually pretty much a scam I'm trying to get money out of uh, off of you. So... As you can see, you know, it's always been a problem. And, it, well, they're, they're saying that uh, I guess 40% of people get their news off of Facebook. And uh, myself, if I'm actually looking for news stories, I, I don't go to Facebook to get my news stories. And I don't think perhaps people don't in, intend to get their news stories from Facebook. Uh, they tend to go to Facebook for, you know, other reasons, friends and family and, and things like that. And but um, so a lot of these fake news stories just happen to be a side product of being on Facebook. Um, and so you get a lot of these scams, fake news stories, links and, and so forth. And uh, it's kind of funny, you know. And why did well? Well, it is a problem. I mean, it's it's a problem not even on the internet. Just look at um, cable news or the main uh, stream media. Of course, they've been totally biased uh, against uh, Trump, uh, trying to be pro Hillary, uh, except with a few exceptions. So, you know, it's a, it's a problem. You know, um, everywhere in, in many cases, and. You know, when I, like I said, when I looking for serious news uh, for like a topic on my YouTube channel or uh, in discussion forums, I, I don't get to go to Facebook for that. I do my own research. I get it from more than one source, uh, usually a minimum of three sources. Um, and often what I do is once I go into that news story, um, a lot of them actually have discussion forums from Facebook or could be uh, many sources, a forum underneath uh, listing comments. And I actually read them because often that will point saying, ah, oh, this has uh, been shown to be fake. And then, you know, so I, often that's uh, gives a little bit more legitimacy to the news store or it's actually being false. So, and so, yeah, um, if anybody's been on the internet any length of time knows uh, anything you see on the uh, internet, you need to take with a grain of salt or even on cable news and do your own research first before you form an opinion. Um, it's and a lot of people post these links think, thinking they're legitimate, it's, you know, to their uh, friends and followers or whatever, and, and often tend not to be so. And, and I see a lot of people also linking. I uh, did a news store on this uh, a month or two ago where they would link, uh, you know, uh, the sob story of, you know, this person or child or whatever, you know, uh, link, share if you should pray for him and, and so on. And uh, that's a scam as well, most of them. Um, you go to the actual Facebook profile page and you find out uh, this person often, that's all they do, link these pictures and try to get people to follow and uh, share and all that and uh, once they get enough followers they simply strip all that out and then they sell it to these advertisers and all of a sudden this person who you're following um, you're getting a bunch of ads so like I said um, do your research before you uh, form an opinion on anything you see on the internet or uh, mainstream media so give me your thoughts on this